Do you ever read a book and it just like knocks your socks off and then you try and put your socks back on and then knocks one off again and then there's another one flying off? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to talk to you about a book that I absolutely loved called Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Tali Hibbert. This is my very first Tali Hibbert and it will not be my last. It was so good. Oh my gosh, I'm wearing a cardigan in honor of Little Miss Button Up herself, Chloe Brown. The narrator for the audiobook did an amazing job and the voice of Red, whew, Red is the love interest. Can I just take a moment? The voice of Red, she does it so sexy and he just be he becomes a legend in this audiobook. You have to check it out. This is a contemporary class divide. It was a really interesting take on it because I never really, I don't really read a lot of contemporary, but most of the contemporary class divide that I have heard about has been like billionaire or um, gosh, mafioso, kingpin. It's not usually like a hoity-toity lady and a struggling artist. So this was a very unique spin for me and I really loved that. I also loved how this book deals with chronic illness, which is something that you rarely see in a romance novel, but it's something that so many people deal with in real life. It totally makes sense to have a heroine who gets to have her happily ever after, and she still has her struggles. Like, they don't magically go away, but they are incorporated into the story, and it's beautifully executed. Chef's kiss. I loved that this was dual POV because being inside Red's head was just so delicious. He had a really great voice and it felt completely different from Chloe's. And I just love getting to like eavesdrop on the dudes. It's really fun for me. The slow burn in this book drove me crazy. Like it was so good, but bad. I wanted to throw the book across the room, but I couldn't stop reading because I needed them to get together, but it was taking so long. <laughs> it was such delicious torture. And there's a whole epistolary section where they're writing emails to each other and they're getting like progressively flirtier. It's getting a little bit more intense. Oh, it was so good. Talia Hibbert, you're so talented. So Red's nickname for Chloe is Button because she's always wearing a button-up cardigan. And it was beyond sweet and wonderful. And so I wasn't really prepared for Red's level of dirty talk, like when they finally got together. I wasn't, it was out of the stratosphere. It was so hot. These love scenes, <laughs> there was like steam, smoke, Flames coming out of my ears. I'm walking around. I'm like walking around the grocery store just trying to keep it together like everything's good. But meanwhile, lives are being changed inside my ears. Oh my gosh. Amazing. I have, I have my notes on my phone. I'm trying to like, I like to write down notes while I'm reading the book. And I wrote, I don't even have words for the scene in her bedroom. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I felt through a lot of this book. Like, are you kidding me? Is, is, are you kidding me right now? This is so good. Okay, so I have basically gushed about this book. Uh, what I didn't like. I hated their double third act breakup. I absolutely hated it. It, it tore my heart out. It was, it was unnecessarily cruel to do to these people. These people? I love them. You can't do that to them, Tali Hibbert. It was mean. Uh, be prepared. There is a third act breakup that is like in stereo and it's, uh, uh, but of course they, they have a happy ever after. Don't worry. They make it through and you will make it through too. Just like take some deep breaths. You've got this. You can make it through to the end. I have moved on to the next book in this series with a quickness because like I said, I loved this book. I loved how it dealt with these issues that people don't talk about. So there are three sisters. You have three sisters and they're all really unique. And then you have this really awesome grandma. And it was just, it's such a fun family. And I, I love how three dimensional everybody is. And I love the chemistry. The chemistry between Chloe and Red is so, so good. And it's 
so funny. The writing is, is just amazingly funny and keeps you engaged in the story. There's never a moment where you're like, oh my God, is this thing still going on? Just keeps you engaged every moment. <sighs> All right, so I think, I think I've made my point clear. It's a five star. It's a five star for me. Definitely, if you have not read, get, if you've been living under a rock like me, <laughs> I finally read this book, Get a Life, Chloe Brown. You should read it. It was really good. And now that Harper Audio has figured all of their stuff out, I can actually talk about it. Yay! So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.